Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you come by, by all means stay, stick around. I'm gonna do a what's in your skating bag video. I go figure skating every week. I'm not serious, it's a hobby. I go with a friend. I had never taken lessons. I don't know what I'm doing, but I love it and I just got new skates. Feel free to comment down below what's in your skating bag because I'm really curious to see if I have some of the same stuff as you do, if you have other cool stuff that you use. So let's get started. Obviously we're gonna start with the bag. I used this as a co-op book bag for my homeschool co-op for years. It was my sister's and then she gave it to me and I was like, yeah, this is cute. I put um, friendship bracelets on it just to like jazz it up a little bit. And it's got these pockets that nobody ever uses because they're too small. It's like so unofficial. It's just a book bag. Now to the exciting stuff. This is gonna be in a weird order because the first thing in here are my soakers. Usually my soakers are on my skates, but since they're new, I've been breaking them in, and when I'm breaking them in, I wear my guards. All of my stuff, aka my soakers and my guards, because I don't have anything else, is blue. <laughs> if I get anything else, or if I invest in a good bag, it'd probably be blue too. They're called Tough Terries. They're really, literally off Amazon for like 10 bucks, but they've got this strip of webbing down the middle. It gives them a longer life. I got them for my old skates, and then I got my new skates, and the blades were just a teeny bit longer, and they like barely fit. It, it's a struggle to not get the toe pick on my fingers every time I do it. Next thing, gloves. These are like $4 gloves from Walmart. They do have the touch pad thingies in the fingers so I can use my phone while I'm skating, which is really nice. And as an added bonus, I don't know if you can see, but there's like shimmery gold stuff in the wrist and it's like soft and fuzzy. These are great, they're thin, but they're warm and they're perfect for all I need them for. This is another necessity for me. I'm not a headband person because usually it makes my head hurt, but this thing is so big and so fuzzy, like it has never made my head hurt ever. It's wonderful. It's a Mucklux, which honestly I didn't know about till my aunt got me this, but I've loved it, like it's so warm. I wore this outside when I went skating on Frozen Pond this past winter. 20 degrees outside and I was fine. I never got cold. My ears never got cold, my head never got cold. This thing is another necessity. I use this to wipe off my skates after I do skating, make sure it's all dry. My soakers help with that, but the majority of the stuff I get off with this. It's pretty gross, I need to wash it. I think I've washed it once in the nine months that I've been skating. I need to wash it. <laughs> Here I've got a little front pocket in this bag. And one thing in here is my socks. They are knee-high pantyhose. Literally bought a box of like six pairs of Walmart. These are great, especially now that I have skates that fit. These are fantastic. I also have the most random thing. I never even associated this with figure skating, but they are makeup remover sponges. They work. Like, they absorb pressure. It's the weirdest thing. I would never have thought that something for your face would work for your feet, but hey, I'm not complaining. These are awesome. Before I get to the most exciting part, let me show you my guards. Here's one of them. Once again, blue from Amazon, whatever cheap brand. I don't know if some of them come with hard plastic, but these are kind of rubberish. Gives them more flexibility when I'm walking and like breaking in skates or walking to the rink. And thankfully I don't need to cut them because I got them for my old skates and I cut them for my old skates and not for my new skates, which the blades are a little bit longer. Thankfully that was not an issue. <laughs> this is the most exciting part. I have only had these almost two weeks. These are my new ice skates. They are Rydell Strides. I've never gotten size wide in my life. If I did, I thought it was coincidence. But when I got sized, apparently my feet are massive in terms of ice skating, which I never knew. And so I had to get men's six and a half wide in white, which of course is gonna add like $70 to my total, which stank. If they're gonna last me for as long as they're gonna last me, it's gonna be fine. I'll, I'll live, it'll be great. They are beautiful. I'm coming from wearing beginner skates, like skates with no support, skates with no toe pick, skates that don't fit right, skates with a very not high quality blade. This is wonderful. Like the boot is sturdy. There's so much support. It actually fits well. Even when I lace it up tight, it's not like killing my feet. Sometimes it does, but not all the time. And coming from having like a toe pick that was ineffective, this is beautiful. It's so pretty because it's so big and I can do so much with it. Oh, I love these. They're so nice. They're worth every bit of the $400 I paid for them. And they're gonna last me for years. So like, I don't care. Goodness, $400 and they last me for 15 years? Yeah, that's worth it. For breaking them in, honestly, I'm not a patient person. <laughs> these have helped to develop my patience because you can't really force breaking in. I mean, you can do the hairdryer method. It works. I mean, it makes them a little more comfortable at the moment. And 
maybe it helps a little bit. I only did it once, so I probably was just too lazy to make it effective. But honestly, the only way you're gonna break them in is to skate in them. I don't like that answer because I skate once a week, which means it's gonna take like three months for you to break these in. I know in the long run it's gonna be worth it. Well, that's everything I've got in my skating bag. Thanks for watching. As always, like, subscribe, comment, do all the YouTube stuff down there. I really hope you stick around because it's gonna get fun. I really wanna put more time into my YouTube channel, into my videos, and maybe actually invest in a good camera and not just use my phone. I'm looking forward to what the year brings. Stay classy, and I'll see you.